All right, this part where we want to look at the cardinality of the set. This is one that involves a little bit more thought process than some of the examples that we did in class. When you're given uh, a set in set builder notation and you want to find the cardinality, uh, the best thing to do is to sit down and go ahead and write out uh, what that set would look like. So here we have a set A where uh, we're ta taking things from the natural numbers. The number has to be odd has to be greater than 5, it has to be less than 50. So you may want to pause the video and take a moment to try to write out what that set is. So we'll be starting with odd numbers bigger than 5 and continuing all the way up until we get all the odd numbers that are less than 49 or less than 50. And that'll take us up to 47 and 49. Okay, so that's the first step, is figuring out, okay, what's in the set? Now, how do we count that? A lot of people get in a little trouble here, and it's really easy uh, to make a mistake and be off by one. So what I would do is think in terms of what do we know. Well, these are all odd numbers. If I take all the odd numbers from one through 49, right, just take everything, all the way up to 49. When we ask the question, well, how many of those do we have? If you can figure out that question, then it's pretty easy then to figure out uh, the size of set A, because you can just take off the things that aren't there. Now, if you're having trouble figuring out uh, that there are in fact 25 odd numbers from 1 to 49. Um, to help with that, just consider the whole set of numbers from 1, uh, not necessarily odd, all the way up through 50. Well, you know, um, if you go all the way up to 50, hopefully you know, realize that well, there's 50 numbers there. And exactly half of those uh, will be even, because we went to an even number. And exactly half of those will be odd. So we can conclude uh, that this set has 50 things. And so therefore, that will lead us back to conclude then that this set must have 25 things. And then finally, we just have to look at our own set. Well, our own set has most of the things the set 1 through 49 has, but it doesn't have a 1, 3, or 5. And so therefore, the size of our set, the size of set A, is going to be 25. Take away the three things that we're lacking from the set from 1 to 49 giving us a size for set A to be 22. Okay, so when you run into problems like this where you have a bit more uh, a bit more complicated set, especially if you're dealing with even and odd numbers, it's a good idea to think about a bigger set that's a little easier to count and then just take away the things that you don't know. Okay.